Welcome to your first lesson on transitioning from SOLIDWORKS to Fusion 360, the user interface. In this video, I'll go through and compare the various features and functions that are different from SOLIDWORKS and explain where and how Fusion 360 adds value to these areas including the web browser access, the data panel and the timeline. To start, after opening Fusion, you'll first see some similarities including a commands toolbar, a breakdown of your design and control buttons as is common with SOLIDWORKS and other CAD software. However, we're going to take a closer look at Fusion's UI and some of the features which help improve your design process over SOLIDWORKS. We'll start from the first button at the top which opens the data panel. The data panel is essentially your file management system, like Windows Explorer or Finder on your Mac, except all data is stored on the cloud and is accessible directly within Fusion. Here you can access your projects, cloud asset libraries, people involved in a project and view training and sample models as provided by Autodesk. I'm going to open our Hedge Trimmer project folder to show you where the data panel offers several benefits including the ease with which you can insert existing data into your designs, creating a shared public web link for those outside the design or engineering team, reviewing version history and why there was an update, where and how the part is referenced in other assemblies, also shown by the change symbol in the browser tree, and access to drawings, all without ever leaving the software, thereby helping to streamline your design and development process. Another added benefit over SOLIDWORKS is the simplicity of the user interface. Within Fusion, you have different workspaces depending on whether you want to focus on the design, manufacture, simulation, or animation, for example, and whichever workspace you are in, you don't want it cluttered with unnecessary features or commands. In Fusion, you will only find the relevant features or commands respective to the workspace you are in, meaning you are not overwhelmed with an overly populated workspace and you only have the tools you need to work with. It's also worth mentioning that Fusion is also a lot easier when working with multiple designs at the same time. We can open a part into a new tab, rather than separate windows within the same design space like SOLIDWORKS so all open designs are quickly and easily available right at the top of your toolbar. Now heading over to the right hand side of our UI, we can find your Autodesk account, preferences, teams you're sub to, and also your profile, which gives you instant access to your Fusion 360 portal where you can organize your files and folders, edit designs online directly in your web browser, export to any number of file formats, and also build a discussions or wiki page for your teams which can prove invaluable when discussing and sharing information. Going back to Fusion, we can see under help one feature that's worth mentioning in particular, the learning panel. This is an intuitive tool that knows which workspace you are in and provides tips based on certain clickable actions. For instance, here I've opened up our left body in the design workspace and the learning panel is showing me essential tips and a checklist to help improve the design process within this workspace. I can also see that when I perform a certain task, a tip will pop up providing useful information based around that action. The learning panel is particularly useful if you are new to Fusion as it guides you through the necessary steps to complete a given task within a given workspace and acts as a checklist to make sure you have covered the most fundamental features. Now we're going to take a look at the canvas, the bulk of our UI where all the magic happens and see how it differs from SOLIDWORKS canvas. The main features I want to point out are the browser tree, the view cube and the comments dialog box. The browser tree separates your design into bodies, canvases, sketches and construction features to name a few. This helps both to organise your design but also to provide a quicker access to any parts in their underlying design features. The view cube gives you an easier way to manage design views as it is integrated into the canvas meaning it is always available yet remains unobtrusive. You can also set your view between orthographic or perspective or something I prefer a mix between the two. This paired with your name views under the browser tree creates a powerful combination when controlling your design views. Next, the comments dialog box allows you to discuss objects or features or make general comments which are then uploaded to the cloud, so they can be accessed both by those with access to Fusion and those via a shared link on a web browser. This makes it easy to discuss features with key stakeholders quickly and effectively, as you can see when I access our design on the web portal.
Finally, the timeline is similar to the feature manager tree in SOLIDWORKS, but instead of being on the left side of the screen, it is on the bottom. It is similar in that features are captured in time, they can be edited, reordered and deleted, which will update downstream features parametrically. One major difference is that you will notice that joints, or what we call mates from SOLIDWORKS, are also captured parametrically in time. This is like combining your part and assembly environment into one design, which can create some more robust workflows which we will discuss in a future lesson. This video covers some of the main differences between Fusion 360 and SOLIDWORKS user interface, and where Fusion 360 adds value. In the next one, we'll take a look at the various workspaces within Fusion and how an integrated and simplified workflow powers the development of your design.